Hey guys. What's up? We're inventing a new sports game. It's called the Blame Game. Who's to blame? In this case, the fault is mine. I signed us up for the film sprint. And we have to invent this game because he pulled a lame location. <laughs> what? A dining room? <laughs> the sports game. And we need you to make it all work. Alright. Well, uh, what do you need? One of the characters is a teacher. So we need you to teach. Well, uh, okay. Uh, We're going to keep playing while you teach. It's symbolic. Uh, really, what I wanted to talk about was this uh, grant book. Kernow, you know, is like the modern uh, gibbon, right? You remember the rise and fall of the Roman Empire and so forth, the fall and decline, the rest of it. Gibbon, right? So Kernow is that guy. I mean, he's managed to capture a moment in the imagination about a character who's more or less been, if not forgotten by history, at least totally misinterpreted by him. So the real value of Kernow, in my view, is that he's resurrecting a reputation from a fellow who had it undeservedly torn away. He was a considerably more effective executive than people give him credit for, though he was a very bad judge of character. It's a big character flaw or a leadership flaw in anyone who needs to make good choices to be a president. So if you keep picking lousy cabinet members and they keep coming and going, there's certainly something awry. That said, Grant's reputation as a butcher is uh, incredibly oversold. The fact is, he was a master tactician. He did try and avoid uh, unnecessary bloodshed, except perhaps at Cold Harbor. But, you know, uh, every general has his, uh, his moment, his Monte Cassino. He has his Kazarine Pass. He has his uh, Thermopylae, right? I mean, obviously, every historian is going to eventually have to get into the great failure because there can be no redemption without failure. You must fail in order to succeed. We wouldn't know what success was like if we didn't fail, obviously. And Grant failed again and again and again until he didn't. And then he failed again after that. But that's what makes it so interesting. Now, I don't know if this is going to become a musical like Hamilton did, but if it did, I bet the theme song it's, would go something like... Liberal media uh, is fake news. Mm. You may go again. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yes, it does. She scored an oligarch and a propaganda in the first quarter. I only need one more oligarch to win. It seems like a pretty messed up game, but uh, where was I? So yeah, Grant's <gasps> reputation now as a butcher is unfair. I mean, he was a strategist, and unlike McClellan, he was willing to take the kind of casualties that were required to essentially bring Dad, this, this dreadful thing to a close. And you often hear people say that. The more dreadful the weapon, the faster the war will be over. But that's how we got to the atomic bomb. So I mean, so it's clearly the ultimate uh, outcome of that kind of reductive argument. Uh, you know, essentially, you're saying that the only way we can get out of this... Thanks, Sean, so much. You, you were great. In, in fact, we couldn't have done this without you. You were, you were key to the, to the whole project. But I have a lot of editing to do, so thank you. Bye-bye. No, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Um, okay. Wasn't there a direction, some sort of a direction you were supposed to take? Oh, we got that covered. Um, it was really no, no big thing, but... Um, but thank you. So, so thank you. Thank you uh, for helping out. It, you were key to the whole thing working. Glad to help. And if it doesn't work out, we know just who to blame. Oh.